Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Mark McNabb with another episode of Top Speed Garage, and this week I have found myself in the quite luxurious 2015 Jaguar XJL, and it is in the portfolio um, trim package. Now, this does come with the optional all wheel drive and the standard 3 liter supercharged V6, and um, it comes with a few other options that make it a very nice place to be. This car just is luxury, period. It drips luxury everywhere. I feel like I need to have a, a bottle of Grey Poupon and, and just eat it as I go down the road. Um, this Jaguar, I mean, it's so impressive in that respect. And I've got a lot of good things to say about this car in the terms of its luxury and how well it executes that on a daily basis. So let's start talking about some of the features. The outside. Well, as you can tell, this is a very long car. Um, you get 5.1 extra inches of uh, foot room in the rear seat, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it translates to some Shaquille O'Neal type stuff. I mean, I'm able to almost cross my legs in the back of the car. It's fantastic back there. Um, on the inside, well, that's where the story is at, really. Um, the back seats uh, are so comfortable. Uh, the way the seats are molded, the way they fit, uh, it just contours your back so elegantly and it just rides like a dream. Up front, things just the same. Um, I have massaging, heated and cooled seats. I also have a nice thick grip heated steering wheel with fantastic controls on, uh, on either side. I have nice stitching that uh, really brings out the, uh, the luxury you know, feel to it just in the steering wheel. Um, other things that I really like about the interior, uh, the shape. Everything looks really, really cool. I like the design. Um, this car also has the illumination package, which comes with the illuminated door seals, illuminated air vents, and a bunch of the other uh, compartments and stuff in here are just illuminated with this really interesting blue color. Beautiful. It's $1,700, but if you're going to spend 80 grand on a car, just go ahead and buy this anyway, because it looks that cool at night. Um, it obviously can't see it during you can't see it during the day um, I really enjoy this uh, ZF transmissions um, Rotary dial. I know a lot of people kind of don't like that um, I'm in the camp that I really do I enjoy it a lot and it just it, it's very satisfying to to run through the dial um, I have a massive screen uh, in front of me that displays my uh, four main gauges speed tack uh, fuel and temperature. I can also configure those gauges however I'd like them. Um, I've got a nice um, infotainment screen here in the center dash. Same as Range Rover. Uh, the two Range Rovers, Range Rovers I've had have both had this same system. It works very well. Um, I don't have the rear seat entertainment so I don't have to complain about that. Uh, not working quite as well as it should but uh, everything else works very well in that respect. Um, so let's talk about the engine. Well, you can get the 5 liter supercharged V8, but this car doesn't have it. It's got the standard 3 liter supercharged V6. Now, in this case, it pumps out 340 horsepower, 332 pound feet of torque. Now, that is enough for this car. It really is. It sounds like it's really drab, and especially with all wheel drive, it slows you down, but really, this isn't a Corvette, it's not a Ferrari, it's not a Jaguar F-Type, it's an XJL, and you drive it like an XJL, and it's sufficient, it really is. Zero to 60 comes in 6.1 seconds, 121 mile per hour top speed, it's fine, it's all you need in this car, and um, it, it performs its duties admirably. Beautiful, beautiful ZF 8-speed automatic transmission, I have no complaints about that box, um, I do have paddle shifters. Um, I can shift it like I uh, like I want to if I if I have to. It's got sport mode. Also, this car comes with a dynamic mode, and I can put the suspension in that or put the setting in that. It dials in suspension, transmission, steering, throttle response. Uh, just makes the car a little bit more lively. Um, it's not a backward bomber, but it just kind of 
heightens the car up a little bit. Uh, it makes it a little more fun to drive and sporty. Um, I also have a winter mode uh, that starts me out in second gear in case you know I'm on ice or anything like that. It comes in handy with all-wheel drive. So other things that I really like about the car. Well, interior, obviously, it's number one. I mean, look at that sunroof. It's panoramic. It opens on the front. The outside looks great. It's very stately. It's very posh. It's very British. Um, things I don't like? Yeah. Um, that's a short list. That's a very short list. Um, I wish my gauge cluster was a little more configurable, like the Range Rovers is. Um, currently, I can only do a couple things with it, and it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I wish the audio system was a little bit better. It's a Meridian, but it doesn't have that massive sound that the Range Rovers had. Now, granted, the Range Rover had a massive, like, 29-speaker sound system um, that you paid a lot of money for. But, uh, you know, this one works well enough. I'm, at this point, making stuff up. I really, I don't have any complaints about the car. Um, price as told. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about price now. Out the door for this car is $88,000. Now, base price, you can get a Jaguar two-wheel drive V6 for eighty-one two. So, as you can see, I've got quite a bit of options. Uh, All-wheel drive. I've got uh, the, the massaging seats, the interior illumination package, and... Um, the uh, ebony wood trim on the doors, the dash, and everything like that. So, yeah, I mean, it's got it's got quite a few options on it. But all told, eighty-eight grand for this. Now, some of its competitors, like the BMW Seven Series and um, the Audi A8, um, Porsche Panamera, and of course the Mercedes S Class. All those cars are great. Um, I've driven a couple of them. And I know they are really fun to drive, and they're really exciting. But, uh, you know, I've got to say, Jaguar makes a great, great car. Um, I've been really, really impressed with this. So, um, make sure that you... Oh, there's a complaint. Three-point turn in the middle of an intersection. That's fun. This car is long. But there's 70. So, it's hard to complain about it, you know? Three-point turns and, uh, and zero to 60 and, and uh, 6.1. So, you know, it's a fun car to drive. Leave me comments below in the section and uh, let me know what you think about the car and whether you choose this over, say, you know, the BMW, Porsche, or uh, Mercedes. And um, hope you guys have a great day. Happy motoring. Thanks.